All right, everybody, let's get ready to make this thing happen. Let me get the chat room going. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you can hear me okay. Everybody do me a big favor and state your name or type your name. We're ready to begin our 369 Financial Transformation tonight. My name is Brian Bean. I've been conducting the webinar. Get ready to go on Facebook Live and we get ready to go on our Zoom account. So hope you guys enjoy our 369 Financial Transformation. Grab a pen and a piece of paper and get ready to shift your mindset, shift your income. All right, I'm gonna call out some of the people I see. Let me know what cities you have. DC, what's up, Misty from DC? Chicago, Carvel, Eric, Fayetteville, I see you. Columbus, Ohio, I see you. El Paso, Texas, Richard Fairley, what's happening? Too many names to repeat, but I appreciate you guys. Shima from California is in the building. What's up, Shima? West Coast, here I come, all right? Al Parker, San Diego, what's up, Regina? Tell that daughter of yours I said hello. Columbus, Ohio, Carlos in uh, Byron, Georgia, Carlos Byron in Georgia, Mississippi. Too many names to repeat. So what we do, guys, is we talk about strategies that are going to help you create wealth for your family. We talk about strategies that are going to help you lower your debt. We talk about strategies that are going to help you minimize and decrease your taxes. We talk about strategies to give you the income necessary to invest. I'm going to start this up in about two minutes, two minutes and counting. As you guys are, as you can see, we're on a webinar. We're also on Facebook. Do me a big favor and type in your city and type in your state as well as your name. All right, we're going to crank it up in about three minutes. Mississippi, South Carolina, Willie Grant, I see you, San Diego, California. Again, man, too many cities to repeat, but I appreciate you guys for joining us. I really do. I'm gonna start in exactly 90 seconds, 90 seconds and counting, just giving you guys a chance to hit share, 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 and let us know where you're from and let people know that this is where we talk about, we're gonna talk about strategies tonight, not sales, not hype, but real strategies. All right, we're gonna start in less than two minutes. I'm going full screen so you guys can grab a pen. Let's get ready to change some financial futures out there. Let's change some lives and let's get ready to make this thing happen. Okay, so for those I've never had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Brian Bean. I'm the founder of an organization called the Extra Digit Movement, and I'm a proud executive vice president Infinity with my econ. Now, what that basically means is we teach people how to shift their mindset first and shift their income second so they can take their finances to another level using strategy, not sales. Now, everybody in this country needs to understand you live in a capitalistic society. You got two major objectives when it comes to capitalism. The first objective is simple. Your current lifestyle, which is your labor, I mean your current lifestyle, which is your car, your house, the clothes on your back, the food in your stomach, the children going to school, it's paid for by your labor. See, America makes it where you have to work or own a business in order to make money. That's perfectly fine. That's why people love our country because you can make as much money as you want. The problem is when you aren't meeting your second objective, which is real simple. Your second objective states, that your current lifestyle should be paid for by your, I mean, your future lifestyle should be paid for by your investments. Well, there's a big problem here. If you're barely making ends meet in your current lifestyle, you can't even begin to think about the future lifestyle. So most people, their two objectives are not being met. Most people don't realize it, but while you're working now, you're supposed to be making enough money so you won't have to worry about working later. Well, there are four basic reasons that most people never ever have enough income. Reason number one is inflation. Now, I want you guys to write this down. Inflation is the silent income killer. The silent killer. Inflation creeps into your pocket every single day, and actually, the value of the dollar drops every day. Here's why. In this country, business owners control how much things cost. So as long as business owners control how much things cost, guess what? They can increase the price or the cost of goods and services whenever they feel like it. They don't need permission from the government. They don't need permission from the people that, you know, very seldom is it regulated. So if I want my clothes to be, you know, 50% higher, I just raise the price of my clothes. 
If I want food to go up, I just raise the price of groceries. If I want burgers to increase, I just increase the prices at my restaurant. You see what I'm saying? But what happens is your job, if you have a W-2, it does not increase every single day. Your boss doesn't say, you know what, gas is more expensive. So I think I want to give you a raise because it's costing you more money to get here. It's costing you more money to eat lunch. So I think you deserve a pay raise. It's costing you more money to put the kids in, in our daycare, so I think you deserve a pay raise. What happens is if you're making $50,000 last year and you're still making $50,000 five years from now, but grapes are up, groceries are up, daycare is up, gas is up, and health care is up, your $50,000 is really about $42,000. You see, in order to get wealthy, never forget this, wealth is determined by what you need to be successful. But in order to get wealthy, you have to put your money in things that outpace inflation. And I'll show you guys that in a second. All right. The second thing that's taking a lot of money out your pocket and keeping you from being able to invest is real simple. It's called taxes. There's nothing silent about taxes. We call taxes the chainsaw massacre. See, inflation is silent. One day you just look up and grapes and cereal are more expensive. One day you just look up and gas is three dollars and fifty cents when it was, you know, $1.99 10 years ago. One day you just look up and a loaf of bread has less bread and costs more. One day you just look up and the movie theater for four, a night of four with the family costs you $100 now and it used to cost you 25. See, that's inflation. But taxes, state taxes, local taxes, federal taxes, property taxes, sales taxes, have alarm taxes, income taxes, See, a lot of people miss this. Taxes are actually your biggest expense. Until you learn how to get your taxes down legally, ethically, and morally, you'll never have enough money to invest. Let me make sure this is clear. Crystal clear. The whole purpose of this quick presentation is to show you why your future is dark if eventually you aren't investing. If you have to work for every dime now and you aren't where you want to be financially, what in the world makes us think that when we stop working, things get better? You see, here's the, what you got to remember. Taxes cause the third problem, which is debt. So you got inflation. The dollar's going up every day. Money's going down every day. You got taxes, state, local, federal, avalorum, sales tax, every other tax, property tax, taking a third of your income. And because your taxes come off the top, people have to borrow from the bottom. I want you guys to write that down. The government hits you in the front and then the banks kick you in the back. For what the government took. In other words, I want you to think about it. If the government takes $18,000 and you only make, you make $50,000, which is decent income, and you make $50,000, but they take 18, you're only taking home 32. So to get back up to 50, you got to borrow the 18 that the government took. So when the, when the banks and governments are working together to take advantage of the situation on the backs of the people, then we wonder why so many people struggle financially. You see, like 72% of most Americans don't even have $500 cash that they can have in a, a small emergency fund. A mini emergency is normally $3,000. A true emergency is six months of your lifestyle saved up. Most Americans are buried in debt. Most Americans are not happy with their retirement plan. Most Americans are leaving their children in some serious you know, bondage. Most Americans don't have anything left over after they pay the bills. So you got to ask yourself why? Well, it's because the biggest entities in the world, the government and the banks, these entities ride the backs of the people. They have figured out how to get people to give dollars to them. So a third of your money's gone in taxes. A third of your money's gone in debt. And then the fourth entity that's in your pockets that actually takes the final third is big business. See, never forget this. Again, we're talking about why people don't have enough money to invest. If investing is what your future lifestyle has to come from, Well, by celebrating something, you'll never have enough money to invest. You see? So you got Thanksgiving, November, Cyber Monday, November, Black Friday, November, Christmas Eve, December, Christmas, December, New Year's Eve, December, New Year's, January, Valentine's, February, March, spring break, 
April, Easter, May, Mother's Day, June, Father's Day, July, 4th of July, uh, uh, August, back to school, September, Labor Day. So this is adopting the flat TV. They spend billions of dollars to get you to see that the iPhone 7 is a must. Oh, by the way, the iPhone 8 will be out by the end of the year. The Samsung screen that, the flat screen this, the cell phone that, the iPad this, the laptop that, the car with the new this. It's always something. Look, I have my toys. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the first to tell you. I got my toys. I love my toys. I love spending money. But what I had to learn a long time ago is that I spend money after my assets have made more money. In other words, it's nothing wrong with toys if assets are buying them. Okay. Now put that in your tweets and your Facebook timeline and your comments and your quotables. Nothing wrong with toys if assets make the purchase. Nothing wrong with toys if assets make the purchase. Something really wrong with toys if credit card is making the purchase. Something really wrong with vacations if you can't even afford the, the umbrella drinks. Something really wrong with the dinner date if you're swiping it on a credit card and you're nervous when they come and bring the bill. See, there's nothing wrong with nice things, but we have to have an attitude of cash, asset, cash. And we're going to talk about that now. All right. So what we do is we teach you guys strategy, not sales. Nothing wrong with sales, but everybody's not good in sales. Everybody doesn't understand that it, it takes a certain skill set. It takes a certain mindset. It takes a certain training level. It takes a certain level of confidence. You got to be able to overcome rejection. You got to be able to stay motivated. Nothing wrong with sales. I made my first million dollars in sales. But what I learned along what anybody can take the formula I'm about to give you guys, plug this bad boy into a strategy, and then watch your wildest dreams come true financially. Because if you can plug and play and you know what your numbers are, and then we show you where to get the monthly income you need to hit your goal, then you will on your way to financial freedom. See, here's something I want you guys to understand. Not in our strategies, not with $10 between 65, 18 to 65, a million dollars passed through your hands. Whew. Let me say this again. If you make $10 an hour between the ages of 18 and 65, a million dollars just passed through your hands. What that means is everybody watching this webinar can be wealthy. Anybody can be wealthy, but to do that, you gotta get your money back from the people and the entities that are stopping you from being wealthy. So that's called income shift. I'm telling you guys, you can see here on the screen, I was blessed to retire when I was only 22 years old because I learned sales. But I also lost my first million dollars because nobody taught me strategy. So here I am in my 20s. And my so-called job back when I got out of college was paying me all year. I made more money in 30 days, two weeks, 45 days, then my job was paying me in 12 months. But then I got audited. Then I had a court issue. Then I had some family issues. Then I was helping a whole bunch of people. Then industry start crashing. Then markets start collapsing. So what? My millions of dollars left. And here I, am, here, I am, here I am in my 20s with no strategy. So I vowed that never again, if I can help it, when I got back on top, I would show as many people as I can how not to make the same mistakes I made. And that's how this movement was born. We show you guys via the strategy how to grow your income. If you're making three figures a week, what's wrong with four? If you're making five figures a week, I'm sorry, if you're making four figures a week, what's wrong with five? What about six figure months? Your net worth by an extra digit. We teach you to grow your income by an extra digit. We teach you strategies to grow whatever you want to grow to make your family financially free. Now, here's the reality. Write this down. This is a wealth principle you have to learn. Cash, asset, cash. That's important. Cash, 
asset, cash. You got to take some cash and then you got to buy, build or grow an asset and that asset generates more cash. Let me say that again. You, until you learn this wealth principle, you never get wealthy. You got to take some cash. Then you got to buy, build or grow an asset and that asset generates more cash. So the first thing we teach you strategically is cash flow management. When your taxes go down and your debt goes down and your expenses go down, you haven't earned any extra money, but you've increased your cash flow. See, I want you guys to write this down. Cash flow is measured in time. Income is measured in dollars. The reason most people don't succeed financially is because they're so focused on income, they forget about cash flow. It doesn't matter how much money's coming in if your cash flow is still tight and you're still locked down every month. Let me give you an example. If I make a million dollars a year and my bills are two million a year, my cash flow is six months. You see, what that means is I only have six months before I'm out of money. Even though my income is sky high, my bills and trying to keep up with the Joneses or whatever the mistakes I'm making, which is usually taxes and debt, are so high that my cash flow is still negative. Now, let's say you make 80,000 a year and your bills are 40,000. Your cash flow is two years. You see the difference? So, so in other words, you can go one year, 40,000. You can go another year, 40,000. Your income never changed, but you got more cash flow than I do. See, if you get the taxes and debt down and keep more money in your house, your cash flow will go from negative to positive. Now you have enough money to invest and you'll never work again. Guys, I'm telling you, I have not worked a job in over 20 years. I'm 42 years old. I retired when I was 22 years old, all because I understood the importance of taking control of your own life, creating your own destiny. You tell yourself and you tell your family how much you guys are worth and you got to stop letting other people and other entities define your net worth and you got to stop letting other people define your self-worth. You weren't put on this planet to just work all your life and pay bills and look up and not travel the world and not see things. The formula that's going to change that is cash, asset, cash. Once we get you some cash and you grow an asset, that asset generates more cash. Now all you do is feed the asset. All right. So here's how this works. You would think that this education was $300, $800, $12,000, $10,000. It's $34. <laughs> this, is just, this is just what amazes me. The value is thousands of dollars. We have multimillionaires that teach you what we show you how they did it, how they got out of debt, how they recovered from bankruptcy, how they lost everything, lost houses. I mean, all kinds of stuff. But the strategies over time with the right education and new habits and a new culture that we give you, nothing can stop you. See, our company's called My Econ for a reason. We focus on your economy, not the economy. And I want you guys to think about this. How affordable is this? $34.95 a month. That's it. No upfront fee, no startup cost. Your startup cost is the same as your monthly fee. So every 30 days, you invest $34.95 into your own business. You got all the software you need every month. It's a web-based business. You got all the education you need. We continue to feed you. You got all the systems you need to cut your commission checks. I'll show you guys in a second. If you want to refer the business, you can actually have commission checks. Doesn't matter if you're a network marketer. Doesn't matter if you're a single mom, single dad, doctor, lawyer, you name it. We have them in our company. And now people can put a strategy on top of whatever money they're making. So it's no such thing as a conflict of interest when we show you how to grow the income that you're making from all of your entities put together. So for a dollar 17 cents a day, you now can learn from millionaires who are teaching you the mistakes they made and how to do cash, asset, cash, and fix any situation you're in. Any situation. Guys, I had a friend of mine actually asked me this the other day. Now, Brian, when can I cut the $34.95? Is that permanent? I'm like, no, you're not, it's not a contract. It's no obligation. It's your own business. But let me ask you a question. If you have an apple that has seeds, and the seeds hit the floor and grow more apples, that grow more trees, that grow an orchard, 
you sell the apples, plant some seeds, grow more trees, and grow an orchard that's making you millions of dollars, at what point do you cut the apple tree down? I'm just curious. At, at what point do you say, you know what? I want to go ahead and burn the orchard. The answer is never. If $34.95 is saving you five to $600 a month in taxes, at what point do you say, I want to stop investing in my business and go back to paying high taxes? See, people just don't think. They weren't taught that you can make money with strategy and create cash flow with your own money. They were taught that every dollar you make, somebody else should take. They were taught that $34.95 is an expense, not an investment. An expense is when money leaves your pocket, nothing comes back. An investment is when a small amount leaves your pocket and more comes back with friends, okay? So I want you guys to think about this for a second. Let's talk about what's in the membership before I demonstrate the software to you. This is real, this is real simple. In the membership, included in the membership is the software that you need to run your home-based business. Now, Brian, what's my business for $34.95? You're looking at it. Introduce people to our income shifting website. Introduce people to our software. Introduce people to our education, personal economic empowerment. Introduce people to income shifting, just like you would if you knew how to play piano and you taught students, just like you would if you knew a second language and you taught students, just like you would if you um, were a uh, martial arts instructor and you taught students. In other words, your education is now knowledge that you can show others. So what happens is we give you the software to enter in your receipts, eating out now becomes tax deductible. Going to the um, gas station, mileage becomes tax deductible. Meals and entertainment is now tax deductible. Um, a certain percentage of your square footage in your house is tax deductible because it's a home-based business. Your cell phone bill, tax deductible. Internet bill, tax deductible. The government wants to know that you're making a legitimate attempt to gain a profit. So the only way to show that is you have to keep excellent records. I'll show you how it looks in a second. Identity theft is the number one crime in the country. We got a million dollar insurance policy included in your 3495. Legal Club of America, a, a pool of attorneys waiting to give you discounts if you ever need a trust fund, or if you ever need a patent, or if you ever need a speeding ticket argued or somebody you need to sue. What about discounts on legal services? Having some lawyers in your back pocket at a huge discount for the same $34.95. Identity theft, prevention and protection. I talked about the protection. Let's talk about the prevention. It's called key logging. This is something that we put on your computer so these cyber thugs and thieves won't get your usernames and passwords. And if they do, you got a million dollar insurance policy. I'm telling you from personal experience, a young lady tried to go in my account last week and steal $4,500. The bank caught it, called me, shut it down. But it's, it's amazing out here what people can do with your signature and your, your information and your, they just all over and you don't have time to be worried about that kind of stuff. It, the, the insurance is included in your membership. So it's pretty cool to know that no matter what happens, you're covered with our membership tax and audit assistance, credit uh, education, all kind of cool things. Now, here's where the income shifting begins. The first thing we gotta do is get your taxes down, okay? Legally, ethically, and morally, we lower your taxes. Now, I want you to see what's on this screen here if you're looking at the webinar. It says 2005, this is from irs.gov. Where does your refund come from? They're talking about your tax refund. It comes from your wallet or purse when you tell your employer how much to withhold from your paycheck or you pay or you make an estimated tax payment. For the average refund, that's about $40 a week too much. Now, this is what I'm saying. The United States government, not Brian Bean, IRS.gov, has stated that your refund comes from your wallet or your purse. Now, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm not the sharpest pencil in the box, okay? But what I do know is this. 
I have an English degree and it's two things I did learn. Prefixes. Re means again and fund means money. Your tax refund is simply your money again. So the government is saying most Americans, they said this over 10 years ago, most Americans are overpaying their taxes by about $40 a week too much. That's $160 a month too much. That's over $1,200 a year too much. So here's the question. If you know that the eighth one of the world is compound interest and you had that 160 a month compounded times the number of months in a year, which is 12 times the number of years you've been working, you will see why the refund check you get every year is nothing compared to the $100,000 you should have in your retirement account getting 8%. See, the government robs you and then they want to sneak and tell you how to fix it. Let's look at the second paragraph now. You might be using the extra withholdings as a forced savings, but Uncle Sam does not pay interest on refunds. Putting the money in any type of savings account or paying down debts might be a better option. Now, let me just freeze and just sip on water tonight. I have some after this if y'all don't believe me. Okay, because <laughs> this is so frustrating. This is what people don't, don't get. Y'all gonna drive me to drink. Y'all gonna drive me to drink some other than water if you don't hear this. The government takes your money all year long. They invest your money all year long. They give you a refund back and then we celebrate the refund. Woo! Yes. Got my tax refund. And guess what we do? Go buy some stuff, big business. Go pay some debt off the banks. Your tax refund is taxed the government. And then inflation ate your refund because it's based based on last year's money. Then we're in such dire situations, we need the refund faster. So we file rapid refund. So somebody else then takes a higher percentage of your refund check, which is already taxed because it's considered income. And then you go get something from big business, pay some debt off that the bank's got you in and the money you got is worth less than the paper it's printed on because it's old money. Meanwhile, the government took your money, invested it, and you could have had the money all year long, but you were trained, get a refund. You were trained, support big business. You were trained, make other people wealthy. When the government tells you that paying off your debts throughout the year might be a better option than this forced savings account, you may want to listen to them. That's all I'm saying. So what we need to do, guys, we got to teach you how to create five income streams. We're going to show you how to get the taxes down. Shift that back in your house. Income stream one. The debt comes down with the tax dollars. Income stream two. Now you lower your expenses. What can you do with your cable? What can you do with your Internet? What can you do with your cell phone? Do you have to drink coffee every morning, twice a morning from Starbucks? Can you cut down to once every two days from Starbucks? People say, no, no, I can't. I can't. Look, I'm not telling you what to do. All I'm saying is there's something every month that you may want to look at that's not bringing more money back to you. There's something that's just going out the window that may save you an extra 100 a month. That's 1200 a year. And then you start investing that. And now Starbucks being cut, just put about $50,000 in your account over the course of time due to compound interest. Now we cut the taxes. We cut the debt. We cut the expenses. Now we introduce business income to you. See, a business is taxed different than a job. This whole country is based on tax codes. And this is what people miss. When you see W-2, W-9, W-4, 1099, Schedule C, Schedule A, 401k, 501c, um, you know, these are called tax codes, right? Account 529, that's for your children's college fund, right? Um, form 433, that's a personal bank, that's a personal income statement. All these things, that all the government does, they try to confuse you with a whole bunch of letters and numbers. What you need to know is W-2 means this, take my taxes off the top. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just a big, I'm just a big proponent of 1099. Take my taxes off the bottom. Let me spend my money first, and then I'll give y'all what's left when I'm finished paying myself. 
The government just wants to know that you are, in fact, putting your money in your business, which in this case is your own household. So here's the question. Why didn't everybody in America own a business? Easy. Here's the answer. They don't know any better. So now here's our cash flow manager. It says cash flow manager, cash flow strategist, financial tools. You want to enter your income. You want to take a picture of the receipt. So now what happens is when I go out, I take a picture of the receipt. If I eat out, take a picture. All right. Now, if I put gas in my car, put the mileage in my phone. The app communicates with your software that you have for thirty four dollars and ninety five cents. Now, when you take a picture of your receipts when you eat out, they're stored into your cloud. Now, at the end of the year, you send your CPA a spreadsheet from everything that was in your cell phone. It takes three minutes a day, three to four minutes at the most. Now, internet bill brought your taxes down. Eating out, which is something you're doing anyway, brought your taxes down. Cell phone bill, something you're paying anyway, brought your taxes down. Square footage in your house, something you're doing anyway, brought your taxes down. Think about it. I got an office around the corner. I got a movie theater slash studio upstairs. Of course I make my movies in my theater. And every now and then I will watch Transformers. But that's a write off. Why? Because I conduct meetings in my theater. I conduct business in my office. I conduct meetings in my house. So although I live here, the square footage that's used for business helps bring your taxes down. All you got to do is show the records three minutes a day. So now you print this form out, ship it to your PA or put it on a zip drive. She loves you. He loves you. You love them. Taxes down, IRS out your pocket. You're running your business because the government wants you to stay in business. Why? Business owners provide the jobs. Why? The government will then get their tax dollars from the employees and give you a tax break because you need the cash flow to run your business. You feed the economy when you're a business owner. That's how they look at it. And the beautiful thing about this country, you were born a business owner because your social makes you a sole proprietor. Man, if y'all not hitting share on this one, and getting some of this knowledge to your friends and family, they'll never get wealthy. If they don't understand that you got to at least have a business, they'll never get wealthy. So think about it this way. As I conclude, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you how we get paid and I'm done. Before your business, you made 50000 a year. The government took eighteen, and you took home thirty-two. Now, you got to pay the bills. You haven't paid anything yet except the government. Now, if you pay 18000 a year in bills, and we know that ain't true, you got 14000 left. Kids haven't taken vacation yet. You haven't gone grocery shopping yet. You haven't paid the mortgage or anything yet. This is just, this is what's left. And that's most Americans. Now, you open up a 1099. Your tax code changes. 1099 says, give me all my commission checks. Give me all my money up front for my job. I'm going to look at my W-4 because I need my money during the year now that I have a home-based business. We teach you how to look at your W-4 and revisit that. On the back of the W-4, business owners now have what are called exemptions. On the front of the W-4, all you get are what are called standard deductions. So now that you revisit your W-4, the standard deductions on the front, the business exemptions on the back, you now get to write off more things and keep your money during the year. Now, you make $50,000, the same $50,000. You get to pay your bills first because you got 1099 money. Tax code different than W-2 money. Now you pay taxes on what's left after you pay yourself first. So here's my question to you guys. Before I show you this uh, bonus program. If you work, shouldn't you get paid first? If you work, shouldn't you get paid first? People say, I get paid Friday. No, your bills get paid Friday. 
because you don't have anything left nine times out of ten by the time everybody else is finished getting paid you sitting here like man the week the month is still going and you don't have any money left so what i want you guys to understand is what we do is we pay you on a monthly basis okay we also pay you on a weekly basis now there's an error on the slide let me just let me do something real quick here because i want you guys to understand the importance of owning a business and i want you to understand the importance of using extra 1099 income to get paid so let me break this down for you everybody write down residual income okay residual income Now here's why you write down residual income. Because it's time for you to earn some residual income to pay off the residual bills that you have. Let me say this again. It's time to earn some residual income to pay off the residual bills that you have. So what we've done is we've implemented a monthly, a weekly income and a monthly income. Your bills come every month, so we feel like your check should come every month. If every time a bill came, a check came, you'll be a happy camper. The problem is every time a bill comes, you don't get paid. So imagine getting $25 through infinity off of every $34.95 membership that you or someone else referred. See, we're going to put a strategy on top of whatever network marketing company you're in, Whatever home-based business you have, whatever part-time job you have, whatever education you have, whatever full-time job you have, you run our strategy parallel, brother and sister, with whatever you're doing. Because now, if people want to learn how to make money with their money, you earn $25 in your organization, whether you tell those people or not. You see me, me and my son here a few years ago, I, I, I've seen five-figure weeks in this business in this industry from the house picking them up from school taking them to school traveling the world going on vacation doing whatever you want when you want how you want to do it why because you think different and you got leverage i don't know why more people i don't know why people frown at this concept of earning bonuses every single week just for showing people something that you learn and you help you're helping to transform somebody's life think about how powerful that is but what's funny is we understand leverage when we get leveraged. But you don't understand using leverage to create wealth. But you understand being part of the leverage to make somebody else wealthy. So every time you swipe a credit card, that's leverage. The bank leverages other people's money and then gives you a credit card to get interest on and pay them back interest on somebody else's money. That's called leverage. At your job, if you don't see your boss every day and don't see the owner of the company, he's leveraging you. If you don't see the owner of the football team and don't know any of the players, but you're watching it, they're leveraging you because you provide commercial advertising dollars to the football team. Everybody in America is getting leveraged. So why aren't you leveraging? I don't know. But all I do is tell people how it works. All right. So now watch this. You earn $25 through infinity. So if one person told one person who told one person who told one person who told one person who told one person, and that duplicated 13 times, you know the power of compound interest? You have over 4,000 people on level 13. In our business at that point, you make $8 a head. So that's $32,000 a month. Because one person told one person who told one person who told one person who told one person who told one person. Because when 64 people tell one person, that's 128. When 128 people tell one person, you see what I'm saying? That's 256. When 256 people tell one person, that's 512. Well, when that duplicates 13 times, you got 4,000 people paying you $8 a month off of the membership. Now, I don't know about you, but my job just wasn't paying me 32 grand a month off of nothing. <laughs> Here's the beautiful news before we go. Watch this. If you want to start that vicious cycle all over again, tell one more person about a $34.95 membership that teaches you leverage, 
that teaches you residual income, that teaches you wealth creation. And next thing you know, this whole process starts all over again. So in other words, guys, this is just one person showing you, I mean, duplicating one to get one to get one. You can make 32,000 a month, 8,000 a month. It's just theoretical. Everybody's not gonna make 32 grand a month. You know that. But if you cut this in half and make 16,000 a month, are you mad at me? If you cut that in half and make 8,000 a month, are you mad at me? You cut that in half and make 4,000 a month, are you mad at me? You can do this 90% wrong, 10% right with $3,200 a month help anybody watching this webinar. Just mess it all up. I tell you to go left, you go right. I tell you to go up, you go down. I tell you to smile, you frown. I tell you the sky is blue, you say it's not. Okay, it's not. Get it 90% wrong with 3,200 a month help you. And you can do it as many times as you like. So all I want you guys to understand is this before we go. The bonus checks are cut every single month on the second week of the month. Like tomorrow is payday. It's going to be some happy people getting residual checks. And then, I mean, the residual checks are cut every second week and the bonus checks are cut every Friday. So now you're getting paid multiple ways by showing people a membership for $34.95. It's powerful, powerful, powerful. Now, before we go, I want you guys to just do me a big favor. Text or inbox the word $34.95 to the person who showed you this webinar. That's our code word for I'm in. If you text the person or inbox the person and say $34.95, that means you want your membership. Don't develop a headache, hypertension, stress, stroke, and heart attack over $34.95 which equates to about $1.17 a day. Just look at what you get. You're going to get your MyEcon website. That's going to help you run your business and teach you the financial strategies. You're going to get the software to keep up with the good records. You're going to get the software to help you hit your long-term financial goal. That's called your cash flow strategies. You're going to get six income calculators to help you understand the power of compound interest and help you compound your financial goals so you can hit what's called freedom, right? Whatever freedom is for you. You got identity theft protection. You got identity theft prevention. You got tax and audit assistance. You got discounted legal. You got everything you need, the commission reporting system, the online shopping mall, everything I mentioned for $1.17 a day, $34.95 a month. And you mean to tell me you still sit on the webinar with me? No. Text $34.95 to the person that put you on this webinar. I got to go. You got to go get your username and password. And our website is howtoshiftyourincome.com. Again, how to shift your income.com. That'll give you guys the, the uh, website that you can go to to show other people exactly what I'm showing you guys tonight. The person that put you on this webinar will give you a link to get your username and password in between how to shift your income.com and that person. You got everything you need to make it happen. All right, I'm Brian Bean. I'll see you guys in the magazines. Thanks for your time. Have a good night.